Make sure that phone they are now in the north side of the of the town. This is going to be circumstance now and by the fact that the flood is here uh, ever on frequency year by year whenever it is so rain is heavy this place is flood is so much and it causes people to be displaced. It's a good proposal to request that those ones who are willing can be allocated to another place. Me especially our school here. Uh, the problem now we have, the underground water is coming, is breaking up the soils and it's coming up with a lot of pressure. As if there is some other pressures on underground forcing some water to pass through some hollows. Now, we wish also the government to come and establish why is water now coming up underground. Instead of the water that has been flooding, disappearing down to the soil, it's now the other, it's now the opposite. As if there are some other water sources, like now we live nearby lakes, as if there are some other water sources which have tried to create a space underground, and the other is that the force is pushing the water. It's as if this place is an inlet or an outlet of other, of other water sources. That's what we are trying to understand. We are trying to understand that maybe this press is an outlet of other water sources. And as a result, that's why you can see the other water coming out to fill up this space. So it is a large now area covered. All of the houses you see around, people are not inside. The neighbors of the school, the settlements here have been, have been affected. The business in our trading center here has been halted because it is now, it is now an enclave. It has been surrounded by water. So, crops, both of different varieties, sweet potatoes, maize, Irish, all of those. The summer have already harvested, which were near to mature, others, as a result, you can't, you see that the Irish has, was flowering. Now you can't dare to go and get anything else. So, transport also has been cut off. People from Xoro cannot access the other, the other part. And people from the other part of the sub-county cannot access the other part of the town council. So we are stuck now. Yarugeyu. Hansiri hari ya hari hoe kanisa ya gakuru. Church of Uganda. Tuka wasa kujina ngwa asande nga wantu wana ijamu kanisa hari ya baze kushomu. Na wawe enka tayi kumasa kutura. So nyona mjila ngu. Aronde kanisa hari muri hihi. Hari ya za kutura yo. Then ni naba anabe ye nebi intu. Bwone baze kuri ya saidi za katete. Kujina ngu bakorechi. Baba tungu ahu kuta. Tuka wasa kujina ngu. Ngu barara mizi. Barafuka. So, nyoni teka teka ngo, ama shomero gari hii hii, ya hamizi gari. Hamizi gaga tae kireyo, ama antubazeyo. Barareyo, no makanisa. Of course, na government ilabili kuchireba, aho chila waska, ilete ibi ntubili kuwa wasa kubakuwa wasa mbjobu yonjo. Aba kwa ama shomero, tia rebjo roni, tario, na angana na ventilators, nko ma shomero sanga ma shomero, gona na gona kujina laga vuga mendi, kwa kaka shishikiri. So, na mazima, ni baba wasa kuzayo. Ba, awa kwe shereka kujira ngo batafuka yu joro zoba. Kwa nga government, nukwa wala za mashomero, nama mba kanisa gari hii, government chimero kureta, ibi, ibi kwe te ngwa. Ebjo kurara ho, ebjo kwe shkweka, na angwa nobu timba. Kujira ngo, obgo wala wali jomu mashomero nkagu, batu ngobu huwezi, kandi bateo nibi nitu jomu yonjo. Awa nga kama mashomero, waza kura minji tigine, tigine, ebjo roni. So, ni chenao government chizeyo, ejiricho ya akora, iba kwa ase, abari kura wa mashomero, abari kura wa makanisa, na kwa government chizeyo, ejiricho ya bayamu. Of course, assessments are going to be done, and those that are seen are to be at risk should be evacuated to flat areas, like schools or churches, in order to allow for the rain to subsidize, and then 
they can go back to their areas. But for long-term solutions, we think by having an ordinance at the district and bylaws at sub county level that address those issues would be very important. Because if you look around, let it be the roads, when they are constructed, those bare areas cause a lot of run. When it comes to the way we cultivate, people have destroyed all the contours. Generally, the whole area looks bare, and that, that accelerates the rate at which the water flows. The things have been destroyed, and those are the way to us. Because personally, I have an experience. There is a way to land in, in Yachinama called Chihe. With the support of Nima, we are able to demarcate it. And before it were, we demarcated that wetland in order to restore it, water would, would splash out and even the road would be flooded. But currently, if you went back, that road no longer floods. So the wetland of Chihuumba, the sink of that water, which will hold the water, has completely been cultivated. Thousands of people have been displaced. Most of the gardens were swept away. This area normally grows ice potatoes. They grow sweet potatoes, onions, millet, sorghum, and beans. So, because people have cultivated all the hilltops coming down to the wetlands, whenever heavy rain comes, it finds the soils bare and it sweeps away everything. That's what happened in Chiwomba. So, in one home of the chairman, S1 for Biza village, five people died, including a senior six uh, student. Uh, now, all this water which has come from the hilltops has now started gathering in the lowlands, in the wetlands. And now in Kisolo, most of the wetlands have been invaded and cultivated. We are asking the people, majorly the people of Chivumba, to vacate from that wetland and go to the schools that are on the hilltops where the Office of the Prime Minister is going to support them. I'm in touch with the Honorable Esther Onyakun, the Minister of State for Disaster Preparedness. Mm -hmm. She has promised that uh, between today and tomorrow, Office of the Prime Minister will have sent us some relief items and non-food items. 